Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from a, a New Belgium, sorry. And this is another one of the Voodoo Ranger series and this is a really fun one. It has that kind of like 90s fun uh, vibe to it. I, I, man, I, really, I honestly really like this label. Uh, the guy's got cobras on his like uh, denim jacket. Cool looking Voodoo Ranger right there. So this is uh, 18, uh, 1985, I guess, is it 90s vibe? Yeah, 80s vibe, whatever. 1985 IPA um, and this was canned Pretty fresh, yeah, uh, three weeks ago. And this is a IPA with mango flavor and spice. And uh, some people mentioned that there's spice and I actually didn't realize Juicy Haze actually has spice in it. And uh, from what I understand, the, the spice very likely is coriander. Coriander actually, um, Japanese scientists did a study on this and um, coriander offers linalool. Linalool is one of the important um, hop compounds and essential oils that you get from hops. Uh, they use it all over the place in, in like standard day life. It's in perfumes, cleaning products. It, it's got this like lavender, floral, woodsy kind of aroma to it. And then, and, you know, interacting with other flavor compounds can, you know, help accentuate citrus and, and all the fun things that we like in IPAs, New England IPAs, hoppy beer. So I think that's what they're doing with New Belgium. Very interesting, uh, throwing in a little bit of coriander into the beer. So uh, the beer comes in a very attractive kind of haze. It has not a full on haze, medium to medium plus, I'm leaning towards probably medium plus kind of haze to it, yeah. Uh, light gold color, fluffy, tiny bubbled head on the nose. The initial note I get is this kind of like, it's interesting. Uh, it doesn't specifically remind me, sorry, of uh, New England IPA, or sort of does, but the fruitiness almost accentuates like uh, ripe banana and like, like smoothie juice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's the mango flavor that they use here in, in here. It's just very tropical, it's very ripe. It's almost like passion fruit juice, mango juice. It really has, uh, I know a lot of New England IPAs have like a smoothie-like aroma. This is full blind. This honestly smells more like a pastry or jam, like something like fruit puree or fruit smoothie. Like it really smells like actual fruits because I mean, I guess they use mango in here. So it smells like a lot like fruit. Cheers. I like mango. Um, on the palate, yeah, it's weird. So that flavor up front plays in again. This is really bright, candied mango note in there. Mm. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's actually, surprisingly enough, it's not too intense to make it like too confectionary, but it, it, it's just such a um, um, jagged note up front that almost tastes like artificial. Like it, it just like punches you in the face with that little bit of like mango. Yep. But it's like, yeah, it's like mango smoothie mango, not like, hey, I'm gonna bite a piece of mango. So like, it's got this like tropical fruit, uh, you know, tropic, uh, Tropicana blended fruit. They, like, they sell that. It's like got like mango, pineapple, you know, like they, it's like got that kind of um, tropical fruit punch uh, smoothie kind of vibe to it, mixed juices kind of vibe to it. Uh, in general, underneath is actually not that crazy of a New England IPA. Underneath it, it's got a little bit of like light. It's actually not that like um, flavorful of a beer after that. It's really defined by that uh, jagged note up front. And then it rides into a little bit of that like white breadiness, a little bit of that kind of creamy smoothness, that wheat body tone, um, that wheat body note, uh, wheat flavor note with the body as well. Wheat slash oats. Whatever high protein adjunct they're using. And then like the void bitterness. So um, pretty crushable though, I'll say that. Um, 6.7%. Yeah, dangerous stuff. Yeah, you can definitely get in trouble with the six pack on this one. It's just got this like nice kind of like punchy fruity note to it. It's actually not a bad idea considering that I assume hops are, I mean, not for a fact, hops are very expensive. And instead of like throwing like, you know, five pounds per barrel, you just get that like a nice kind of like Tropicana kind of note in there with the mango flavor that they're using. And it's not overly dominant. It's not overly fake. It plays pretty well. And it makes a generally not too spectacular New England IPA pretty good. Until next time, guys. Cheers. This one for me gets a That's pretty good. Mm. 91? 91. 91. This is uh, New Belgium Voodoo Ranger 1985 IPA. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think. This one's a fun one.